The philosophy of my service really begins with the Gospel of uh, St. John at the uh, Last Supper, where Christ gave us an example of washing the feet of uh, the apostles. And he said to us, if you really wish to follow me, you must do service to others. And that ties into uh, my religious beliefs because it is from that same gospel, the Eucharist, that sustains my service. So I see my involvement each day in the Eucharist as sustaining the um, involvement and service that I provide within the community. And I dare say that's the philosophy that drives a lot of the projects within our club. It's by no accident the name of our uh, signature service within the club is the Bread of Life Food Drive. And the Bread of Life Food Drive has such a significance to us because it is a food drive that we do each year in the spring, have done for 22 years. And we do it in the springtime uh, purely by accident. We were asked by Father Malloy in 1992 to begin a service project uh, and give a gift back to a community on the 150th anniversary of the university. So with the luck of the Irish, we just picked the food drive and did it during the spring when Father asked us. The reaction was overwhelming from organizations who received food from us. And the food, they said, came at a critical time because everybody has food drives at Christmas and Thanksgiving. Then the light went off in our head, too, that if we're going to sustain this program, probably we've been given some message by God because we are doing it at the exact time in Christianity that we, with Holy Thursday, celebrate the Eucharist. But in our Judeo-Christian, we also recognize that in Passover, where there is manna from heaven that is coming in. So it has helped us to serve as um, an identity of our food drive with our Christian belief, but it's also our Judeo-Christian belief. We've engaged many Jewish organizations and uh, non-Catholic groups within the Staten Island community in the food drive. But I think another sign of the Eucharist is the unity that it brings to people. So if we are uniting the Staten Island community in service, we are doing it with the symbol of the Eucharist. A lot of times when we read in the Gospel and Jesus uh, calls us to discipleship, it's not an easy call because it's a call to service. But we have within looking at Christ our Savior himself, the, the whole example of service. He gives us in his life and through the Eucharist the service. So I, I've been able to comfort myself in my professional and personal life. And for anyone listening to this, if you're a parent, you know what it is to be able to give. And, and you set the example, but you also have to be total in your commitment uh, to your partner, in your marriage, and to your children. So I think having a sense of service and applying it to all aspects of your life, not saying it's just one or two parts of my life, it is all my life. That philosophy has helped me. What I would say to the club, and I have on occasion when, when asked to address this, is look within your community to what particular need exists in the way of service. Um, they're, they're, and then match that against the talents of the people and the desire to do the work within your club. For example, there are a number of opportunities where people have food pantries or shelters. You can also look at Catholic education within your community. A lot of our parochial schools are struggling and could use the help and assistance of a Notre Dame club, whether it's providing mentoring, fundraising, or just lending your presence within the school. I think it would also be uh, encouraging to see if you had uh, a need within your community by outreaching to Catholic charities. The University of Notre Dame and Catholic Charities have signed a partnership. And within most communities throughout the United States, Catholic Charity is a presence. But they need people to serve on boards. They need people who can help provide food. They need people who can also do mentoring and working with youth. That may be another opportunity. And certainly within each of our dioceses, there's a respect for life, a carry it, that they could involve themselves in the total picture of respecting life and, and, and working in that particular mission. So I think assess the needs within your community. And then look at the talents. We have many people with great talents within our club who could lend that particular talent, whether they be a medical professional or a legal professional. But it's times, many times, people with those professionals want to do something else. They want to drive a truck. <laughs> they want to be involved in organizing a food drive. God bless them. Let them be. Get them involved. 
that would be the thing, but you have to assess the needs first. And uh, the, the groups that I mentioned before in the areas of targets would probably bear some fruit in trying to engage how your club can be most effective in serving the community. For the community and also for the club, I think what you do is you build uh, a spirit of community and a sense of camaraderie, another one of our C's, or the Notre Dame six C's, within your club by doing service. It also engages your members. People necessarily, and I, I truly believe this, want to be asked to do something. Mm -hmm. It has been the great spirit of our country to challenge us, whether it be in volunteerism or service to our country. If people are asked and they are given the right plan and program, they can do it. So I think that a club and a community can reinvigorate their efforts by engaging their people in a project that gives them a sense of identity, a sense of purpose, and more importantly, a sense of accomplishment. And once you have that done, sustainability. Because once you have a program that's been successful, and the members of your club are proud of the efforts that they have um, undertaken to make it succeed, then they're going to want to do it again and again and again. And what they'll also want to do is regenerate more efforts by attracting more people, Notre Dame alums, Subway alums, parents of Notre Dame students within our projects. And it also, by doing this, gives you an outlet to the organizations that you're serving. And they, in turn, will, will you know, appreciate what the service is. And that feeling of appreciation from people you help is very rewarding.